Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to be doing a three colour paint animal print art challenge. We're so excited for this video because we're back painting and this week is something a bit different. And we got the idea for this video because it was recently one of my friend's birthdays and I did something along the lines of animal print. So we decided to share the idea with all of you. Before we get started with this video, we want to thank each and every one of you because we hit 300k on YouTube and it's so crazy. Thank you so, so much. As Ruby said, it's so crazy to us that we've got 300,000 subscribers on this platform. Thank you so much because it's really, really... I, have, I can't get my head around it. <laughs> Both of us are so, so glad that we have this platform and that we can use it to spread awareness on things and that we can use it to be creative and hopefully inspire all of you to be creative as well. Also, thank you so much to everyone who is sharing their work on Instagram and tagging us in it. We love looking at all of your guys' artwork. You guys are very talented. It's crazy that we've inspired you to make some of those things. And even if we haven't, we love seeing them. So thank you. And to say thank you for all of that and more, we're going to be giving away the artwork that we make in this video. So stay tuned to the end to find out. Let's get started. So how this challenge is gonna work is we're gonna each pick three different colors of acrylic paint. On that note, we actually got some new acrylic paint, so we're really, really excited to use them for the first time. And our mum will give us a number of different animal options to paint, and they'll be animal prints. And we have to paint a set of two animal print canvases each. Yes. On top of the colors that we'll have, we'll also have black and white, but we can't mix the colors together. We can only mix them with the black and white. Yes. Okay, so we've got our colours now and we're going to do rock, paper, scissors to see who picks first. Ready? <laughs> Yay! Okay, first. I'm going to go with... I get the first choice, so it's really hard. Mm. Um, this one. Okay. Oh, there are two that I'm thinking about. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one then. We've both got similar colours here, and there you go, turn. got a choice again. Um, I like this one. Oh, I was gonna pick that one. <laughs> okay, I'll come up with something a bit different. I think I'm gonna put a pink shade in this. So I am going to add this one. I think I have an idea of what I want to pick for my last one. Yeah. It's pink. No! <laughs> <laughs> At least from the tra same train of thought. We've got a really similar colour palette. Pick something different, maybe, this time, like a yellow. No? Oh. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go with this one. It's kind of greeny. Wait, do you want to trade a colour? Yeah, which one? This one. Yeah. Yay! Okay, this was my second choice after I knew you were gonna pick. You wanted to pick these ones. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Okay, so these are my three colors, and something that I noticed, similar to mine, is that mine seem to be a bit more washed out versions of rubies. Yeah, mine's a lot brighter. Yeah. So we've got our colors now, and we've also got black and white, but our mum told us to shut our eyes now because we have another round. I don't know what this is gonna be, but I'm excited. It might be the mm -hmm. print of it. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, canvases. Ooh. So we have three different sizes canvas, and we're painting a set of two, which means one of us is gonna get, we're gonna get different sizes. So we have a big one. A small one. And one in between. Are you ready? Ah! Yes! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be nice to you. I know you're quite nervous about this challenge. So I'm gonna pick the big one. I was gonna pick the little one because I think they're quite cute. I want to have a challenge though. I wouldn't say I'm nervous, but I am like quite. I, I don't want to have to like do loads because I feel yeah. like I'll be not very good at it. But I'm gonna go with these. Okay, so we have the canvas and the paints, and now we're going to go on to the last round. This is probably the animal print, whatever we're doing. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so we have leopard print, cheetah print, cow, cow print. print. And zebra print. Ooh. I know what I 
want to do. Same. Yep. <gasps> oh, I won! So I won, which is very rare for me, and I was going to pick the cow print, but I know you have, I feel like you have ideas for it, and I know you I want do. it. <laughs> and I have an idea for the leopard print. So I think I'm gonna go with the leopard print because I do have quite a vague idea of what I'm doing with it. So. Thank you. I'm gonna go for the cow print. Thank you so much. I have an idea that I really, really want to do with this. Okay, we've got all of our stuff now. We've got our paint and I've also got a pencil of rue and tape, which I'm gonna need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do some drawings on it with a pencil. And the first thing I'm going to do is use these two colours and they're going to be doing the backgrounds on each canvas. My green colour is actually shimmery, which is so cool. Really? I don't need more than that. Yeah. Look, oh, nice. it's here. Oh, nice. So, let's get started. drawing <laughs> yeah I am but actually now I'm gonna be painting so Ooh. I'm starting with the black and white I just started using the paint and it's so I poured water in it before I like actually touched the paint because it was thick and then realized it was water resistant and these are not acrylic paints they're oil paints I realised that because I did try and put water in it because I yeah. thought it would make it work better, but they just don't. And neither of us have ever painted in oils before. Oh no. So we've never actually used oils before. They're very thick, so you have to quite pack it on, and they resist water. So if you put water with it, then the paint yeah. will not come on. They smell like Play-Doh. They're very thick as well. Yeah, a little does not go a long way. Obviously, we're going to try really hard because we're giving them away. But it is what it is, and yeah, we don't really know much about oils, but it's a good try. If anyone does, then make sure to comment because now we have some oil paints. Yeah, we can use them for other videos, like oil videos. So I just finished my first colour and the first background of the canvas, and now I'm go going on to this canvas and this colour. So nice. I'm on my second colour, except it's black. colours are really vibrant and nice yeah they are and they are a little bit hard to get on because you can't use water so it can't like be easier to get on but you, when you find your way around it it does spread nicely yeah it does like butter <laughs> of my colours now but they're not like the colours if that makes sense the colours that I finished were black and white okay so we're kind of opposite because I've just finished two colours well started two colours to thin the paint you actually have to use a paint thinner and we didn't realise this until I went to put my brush in the water and it was completely water resistant we had some paint thinner in the house because our dad does a lot of DIYs around the house but you do have to be 18 to buy it it's very very dangerous Toxic. Yeah, <laughs> so make sure that you do have parent supervision or permission if you're using this. Because they're oils, they do actually take longer to dry, so we're going to leave these for a bit of time and then we're going to come back. I'll be doing my colours and I'll be doing my like drawing and details. details. So they've been sat outside for an hour now and they're dry to the touch. Like they're not completely dry, but they're dry enough that the paint we have now won't mix. Yes, and what I need to do now is I'm going to be drawing out my design and mm -hmm. mine is still a bit damp so I should be quite careful. I am going to be going to my third colour and this is the one I'm going to be using but I will be using them all at some point. So, but this is the last one. So let's go start. Yay, okay. my drawing and now I'm actually going on to the black. 
These paints actually go on so well, but it does take a bit longer than acrylics to dry. But apart from that, it actually dries really nice as well. Yeah, very flat. Really, can you try not to like wobble the table? Because I'm yeah. doing something really Sorry. precise. How's yours going? Uh, good actually. It's quite easy to get on, but you have to be so precise with the bit I'm doing, so yeah. it's a bit hard. Oh, nice. So, I finished my second colour now, and I finished the black now, and the only colour I have to do now is this one. So, I've got one colour left now, and it's this one, and I actually haven't got a lot of it, so I'm going to do that now. Same, I just have to do the finishing touches with all of the three colours inside the leopard prints that we've done. So these are looking really, really nice right now. I'm so excited to share everyone. But on that note, we'll be back to you for the final reveal. next day now and we had to wait 24 hours for the canvases to dry and as you already know we did work with oils instead of normally using acrylics. The canvases are still a bit wet and I guess we've both learned that oils take a lot longer to dry than acrylics which is not something that I expected. Ruby and me didn't actually know we were using oils. As you can probably see this room's been moved back to how it usually is. We're no longer facing each other and now we're side to side with a barrier up. So we're going to do rock, paper, scissors to see who shows theirs first. Okay. <laughs> no! Hey! So we're going to take the barrier off now. Our paper is a turn now. So I've moved mine out of the way now, so Ruby's going to show me hers. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm so, so excited. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around, but close your eyes first. Three, two, one. Open. <gasps> That's so cool. Wait, that... Oh, they complement each other really well. Basically, I'm gonna let you guys see in a minute, but it's... All the colours are combined on different ones. The background, it's so cool because obviously the paint is metallic and the background looks... They look so cool together. It reminds me of summer 2016. I love it. I think you should show everyone this. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys in three. Two, one. So this is mine. I got leopard print and I complemented each colour. So basically just a leopard print with all the different colours and the metallic colours in the background. It's so cool looking and the colours come for each other, like you said. So these are mine and I did originally paint them so they'd be like this, but whoever gets them can do it any way they want, honestly. And they're all metallic, so whoever gets this is gonna have a metallic room. It's very cool. Okay, so I cannot wait to see yours, really. Okay, I've got mine now. They actually go landscape instead of portrait. I just kind of designed them like that. Obviously, you could hang them however you want. You ready? Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> whoa, that's, oh, really? whoa, that's, oh, oh my gosh, they connect. <laughs> you should make four of them because then they connect. Oh my goodness, that'd be a good idea. That is so cool. I love what you've done with it. Like one side is the exact same, one side has different colours but completely connect. Thank you so much. I like the idea and I feel like at the moment there's a lot of this one um, kind of style going around. It's like an indie style, but I've seen a lot of bedrooms with stuff like this in. Same, so have I. Yeah, and I thought it would be cool. I bedroom to look like that. I'm going to show all of you now in three, two, one. So. This is what I painted. I'm really, really proud of it. It's an idea I got from a birthday gift that I made my friend. I did two kind of types of cow print. Both of them are the same size and shape, so I just drew the cow prints out, marked out the middle, and did one, the black and white, and then the other half, I just put loads and loads of multicolors on. I feel like it looks really cool. It would definitely look nice in a blue room, it would look nice in a pink room, it would look nice in a neutral room. Um, I'm very proud of it and I hope whoever gets it likes it. It's really good, I love it too and I feel like these two would look good together. Like, yeah, they're nice. cool. Obviously you could put them above each other if you wanted, you could do it like that. 
I just designed it so it matches up that way. So these are our final three color animal print oil canvases. I'm so proud of how we both did in this challenge. Yours are so, so cool. They remind me of summer 2016. And I love how the color shifts in yours as well. We really hope we've inspired you to make your own animal print art. I've seen so much of this around. There's a lot on Pinterest, there's a lot on TikTok, and there's a lot on Instagram. So it's very trendy right now. Also, we're so happy because we're giving these away. So on to the giveaway. So we're going to be giving away a pair to two people. So there'll be two giveaway winners and each of you will get two paintings. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Two, comment on the community page, hashtag Ruby and Rayleigh, hashtag giveaway, and comment why you'd like to win. And which one you'd want to win. Three, comment if you have an Instagram or an email address. You can include your Instagram name, but do not include your email address. Just tell us you have an email. Please make sure you also have parents permission to enter the giveaway and give out your address to us. Okay, so good luck everyone. Again, thank you so, so much for 300,000 subscribers. Thank you. Okay, so that's the end of our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. We have two shout outs for this video. Shout out number one goes to Ebony Towner. Thank you so, so much for commenting on the community page, so, so much, and for being really, really positive in the comments. We really love reading them and it's nice to see the positivity. The second shout out goes to Galaxy Tutorials. Thank you so, so much for subscribing to us, supporting us, and for always commenting on our community page. We cannot end this video without thanking our notification squad and early squad. We love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Again, wish you the best of luck for our giveaway and thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. Stay safe, everyone. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. It's we're gonna each pick three different colors. Do you wanna write paper, scissors? Yeah. Okay, oops. Oh, and I'm going to be going on to the next color, which is this one. Nice. So I just finished God, it doesn't come off the brush. <laughs> ah! Do you reckon if we put like moisturizer in the paint, it'll like in slime? <laughs> so I just finished the first color and um, now I'm on to the second one. I just put it in the water to like wash it off and nothing's coming off. It's just stuck to the bottom. So that whatever you're saying on hold. What did she do? Yeah, it's not resistant from carpet fabric. <laughs> When you get used to the oil paints, they do work very well. 